What we're going to see is a world first. This is the first time ever a hamburger from cells grown outside of the cow is being made and presented. For me, there are three major reasons why I think we need to do this. One is that demand for meat worldwide is going to increase. And we are not going to match that demand with current production methods. Second, we by now know that livestock actually produces a lot of greenhouse gases, so current production methods are bad for the environment. And third, there are animal welfare issues, and if you can relieve some of those issues with alternative methods of producing meat, that would be a great benefit too. We use cells from a cow. We harvest them through a harmless procedure. We take them out of the cow, expand them in the lab until we have 40 billion cells. They form real muscle fibers and that's the basis for our meat. So if we have a lot of those muscle fibers, we can basically make a hamburger out of them. Everyone sitting here with bated breath is dying to see what's underneath the cloche. So can you do the honours and, and lift the lid on your creation? So the aim is to, of course, make a consumer product out of it. It may take 10 years, maybe even earlier, but um, 10 years is probably a good guess. The burger tasted, it had a very sort of bland, neutral flavor. The thing that made it most similar to real beef was the texture. When I bit into it, I was impressed with the bite and how it, it, it did have a kind of density that was familiar. I have been waiting for this day for the last two years because this is an idea that came up uh, two years ago and we finally got the funding for it and worked very hard, had lots of obstacles. Um, so when it's finally there, you know, this, this, is, um, this is a proud moment. This is really something exciting.